mayor's budget is including annex one which was a total expenditure of four thousand six hundred and sixty one million but then annex two is a total expenditure of four thousand eight hundred and five million both had i think the same budget gap of 54 million so I'm, I'm just trying to understand how we as this committee and i suppose interested londoners who are looking at these things how, how should they think about those two annexes you know is the you know what, what what was the thinking about having two figures and how should we think about those two figures sorry could you just point us to the numbers in that you've just quoted there so uh the draft budget in annex one includes a total expenditure of 4661 million and the Annex 2 includes a total expenditure of 4,805 million. And the difference between the two is just as the Deputy Mayor has explained, it's the investment required to deliver New Met for London. So Annex 1 is, excludes the New Met for London ambition. Um, Annex 2 includes those costs. And they both relate back to the table that is in the main submission that shows how the gap is. Um, is being presented okay. based on investment. So, so Annex 1 includes New Met for London plan and Annex 2 doesn't? No, sorry, Annex 1 excludes New Met for London ambition, Annex 2 includes New Met for London ambition. So when we look at the Mayor, has the Mayor not taken Annex 1 though in the, in the, in the overall GLA budget, is he not using the Annex 1 number? The Mayor's budget assumes Annex 1, but the investment that is reflected in Annex 2 is shown within the Mayor's budget, but as a footnote. Yes. So, so this, is, this is what I think is puzzling, because, I mean, those of us who follow these things, I mean, the, it seems to me the new Met for London plan is the Commissioner's plan to deal with all of the problems that have, well, the ones that have come out from Casey and other problems that are known. But then the mayor seems to be proposing not to fund that in his budget. That, 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 that was my interpretation of it, which I think you've confirmed. So where does that leave us in terms of funding the new I don't think that is plan? The, I'm sorry, I don't think that is the case. I think okay. the MOPAC submission is very clear as to the two sets of figures. One set of figures already has investment for New Met for London, which is already being spent this year in terms of leadership, in terms of call handling, in terms of victim support. Um, that has already been spent and that is already baselined into the budget. So New Met for London reform will continue. The second set of figures includes additional reform and additional aspirations. And it's very clear within the MOPAC submission that that is, you know, that is work that is ongoing as to where the prioritisation is, what happens with the police settlement that we now know that it was actually punitive to the Metropolitan Police. And we're very clear that, you know, between the publication of the draft budget and the final settlement of the, the you know the final the final budget there is work ongoing around prioritization okay. around you know what can be achieved where efficiencies can be found and where savings can be found in order to be able to try as far as we possibly can to meet those aspirations in the additional in the additional uh, budget that's set out and around new met for london it doesn't mean that new met for london doesn't continue okay. it means that there because that's already as i've explained there is already funding for new met, L met New Met for London within the budget, baseline, ongoing. There is growth within the budget as well, but there is additional growth through, new, through the second set of figures that we are now having conversations about, about what is achievable, where the prioritisations are, and what the challenges are to meet that. So for a few glorious seconds, I thought I knew what the difference was, but now maybe I don't. So, so it's about 130 odd million difference between the two. So how much New Met for London funding is there in Annex 1? And then so then are we then agreed that annex, annex 2 is an extra 130 million in the coming year for New Met for London, but the New Met for London budget isn't zero in Annex 1. So what is, what, what is the difference? What is New Met for London funding in Annex 1 in that case? I mean, anybody who wants to have a go at that, you're welcome to. I can talk to the costs of New Met for London that are in the budget for 24-25 for the Met. Annex 1 or Annex 2? So the, the Commissioner's submission, which I think is your Annex 2, yeah, we're clear in terms of the new investment. Uh, Deputy Mayor's absolutely right. We've obviously had investment this year uh, from the preset, which we've invested in the areas that uh, she has talked to, including PCSOs. But we have said that the cost for next year's uh, reform is in excess of £70 million, So we want to invest an additional £70 million in other new Met for London activities that are not yet funded. 